Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Welcome to The Mike O'Mara Show for a Monday. We were just talking to uh, Rob. Uh, and Rob is in a different location, and unfortunately, the connection was uh, a little hinky, so we don't have him, but we've got Oscar and Mike, and we've got Monday, and I've got a ton of stuff to talk about on the show today, uh, not the least of which, you never know who you're going to meet when you go to a party. Oh, Jesus. And by the way, socializing, as you know, Oscar, is uh, is rare for my bride and I. I mean, we... I don't know what it is, but uh, both of us, if you want an ideal evening for Carla and me, and, and we've been together uh, as of this past weekend. We haven't been married that long. We have been together for 20 years. Can you believe that, that we've been together for 20 years? Congratulations. And thank you so much. Woo! I appreciate that. Yes, I'll, cl- I'll applaud myself on that. And we, uh, so we just don't do it very often. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when we uh, get an opportunity to, we get uh, very enthusiastic, and we say yes right away. We get excited. It's hard and to so, do it when you have a kid, though, as well, right? Or is it? It's hard to. Well, in this particular case, this was a party uh, that we got to take my son to because it was a football team parents, and one of his buddies, who he's uh, you know gotten together with before, uh, another Michael, was at this party. So it was very very cool, and it was convenient. As four o'clock in the afternoon. After the uh, after the football game was over, a football game that they won bigger than mm. any other game, mm. three wins for the season. They mm. are actually, let me start with saying that my son's football team will be going to a playoff tomorrow night <laughs> to see if they can get into the postseason because they eked out. They had to win their last two games in order to get this playoff. They're still at the bottom of the barrel, but not as bottom of the barrel as some other teams. So... They have a playoff the way I understand it. I don't understand it. It's not a full game. It's like a college overtime or something like that. Mm. I have no idea, but that's tomorrow night, and I'll have an update on that uh, when, I, when I have an update on that. But we, uh, we go to this party, and the best of our knowledge is going to be the really basically one of the backfields for his football team. My son plays the uh, two-back. We've got the one-back who's the quarterback, and we've got the three-back. Whatever it is, there are three skill positions at this party with the parents. And we get over to my buddy's house, and he's there with his wife, and they put out a nice little spread. And he says to me when I walk through the door, I got a a case of Miller Lite for you. I said, you know what? I won't drink the whole thing. I promise you I won't drink. (laughs) And his parents are there. That is funny. It's it's very cool. And um, kids all over the place. As a matter of fact, there's a for a brief moment in time when I walk into a na- their neighborhood, they have a kid friendly neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And when I walk into that neighborhood, I feel as though this is kind of cool. People coming and going. Somebody from two houses down. People just yeah you know, bopping in. It's kind of like, cool. That's something I yearn for, and not even on my own terms. Like it would be nice to like be able to go home and then. Maybe text the neighbor, say, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Come on yeah. over. Or the open or door I see policy. you have people over. Roll yeah. right over. It, it doesn't exist here, no, where I live here, not, as not, you know. Not in the city. Not in Fort Knox. No. Uh, yeah, but even your you neighbors. Know. Well, the neighbors here. They're already they're in the, the gate. They, the gate what, to the cemetery? No, they're already in the gate. Most neighborhoods that I saw down there had gates Well, the, this this one does, too. But there are kids in there. And I I kind of liked it because it was just festive. Kids running around, having a great time, jumping in this guy's pool. You they, know, it's Florida, so pool you, season doesn't end. It's wonderful. And uh, and so the only person, there was a lady in the pool, um, obviously a mom that was in the pool. Mm-hmm. And she was hanging out with the kids when we got there. And I didn't know who she was. And somebody said, that's so-and-so. She's the neighbor two doors down. And then they had a just incredible 
football game on, and one of the dads is a Florida alum, University of Florida, and it was the Florida-South Carolina game that was on, and a stellar football game with an amazing comeback from uh, the Florida Gators, and that was a blast. And I got all in. I went totally in on the Florida game, and I'm talking to one of the dad's fathers, who Mm -hmm. was a cool guy, and it was just relaxing, and there were snacks and uh, and beer, and everything was fun. And then uh, we weren't planning on staying really late, and Michael's with uh, with other kids his age, and he's having a great time, and they won the game, and every, it's very festive, very, very positive. And I'm like, I didn't think anything of it. I said, the, you know, we'll, we'll, get, uh, we'll get home at a reasonable hour. It'll be cool, and it'll be parents, and fine, fine, until um, this lady who had been in the pool uh, got dried off, comes out. She's in her, in her, uh, you know, out of her suit and in her clothes. And she's sitting there and she's with her little son. She's got a very, very young son, toddler age, maybe even younger on the floor, playing with these little blocks with him. And I don't know how the subject came up, but every now and then when something comes up, I know without a hesitation that I've got material for this show, Mm. that I've got something that I can talk about. And it's always a really gratifying feeling because I can share. I can share, 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 because I like to share when something's <laughs> this special. So uh, when I spoke to this woman, I found out that she was from Arkansas. Ooh. And I, well, I said, well, that's it. You don't meet a lot of people from Arkansas. Yeah. And Unless the other the, thing, they're the president or a former it, president. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, hi, how are you? How are you, dear? <laughs> Nice to see you. And the other thing I found out is that she went to so somewhere for undergrad and then nursing school at some other place. So I, I assume she's a nurse. And then other people started talking and the party moved on. And I'm just having a really good time watching the game. And then the game was over at this point. And the other mother comes in from the kitchen, and who owns the house, and I wish I remembered names. I'm so Margaret. sorry. Margaret. I'm so, let's call it, for, for sake of argument, let's call her Margaret. And she says, have you asked Margaret what she does? And everybody, I hear this little sort of nervous titter uh, going on, and <laughs> I said, uh, I said, well, I, I, she went to nursing school. Uh, she's a nurse. That's what I, and no, 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 no. No, she's got another Side, uh, apparently, it sounded Ooh. like a side hustle. Ooh. And now I'm curious. Yes. Now, now we've gone from just a rando who lives two doors down to something very special where I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious. And it was really, really interesting to me because we, like we do on the show occasionally, we're starting to play a guessing game. And I'm, I'm all in. And we go back and forth and back and forth. And I said, I know I got to the point where I said, oh, she's a medical examiner. Oh. No, 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 no. I said, she's a, she's a mortician. Because it, they indicated by their hints that it was something to do with danger or death. Ooh. And uh, that's that's what I they mean, were. That's, you could be at, at a metro stop and you hear a conversation. You want to figure out what's going on. Exactly. It was. It was. I'm yeah. all in. I mean, I'm, I'm great. Just absolutely riveted. And you know, what do you want at a party? But somebody interesting, interesting right? people. Somebody that and brings a story. Someone that will give you some level of escape. And during the conversation, before I am enlightened, before they tell me what she does, I am told, "Well, uh, you'll know when you see the video." And now I'm really curious. I said, oh, you're an influencer. No, I'm not an influencer. I said, you're a podcaster. No, and the, the lady says, you're a podcaster. I said, yes, I am. Now, you're, and, uh, you're a radio god. <laughs> no, yeah, I happened know. To I know. On a but podcast. You can't, and if radio. you say that at a party, you appear bitter and old. And so, mm. I'm a radio guy. Um, I said just, radio god. Radio god. Yes. And if I said that, it's like, what's wrong with that? He must be a big deal. What's the? Yeah, I was. thought it was. Well, yeah, back, of, back uh, in the nineties, the the, um, the Holy Trinity, and then Michael Mara. Oh, it's like, 
I go back and forth, and it's fun. And I could guess all night long because I like the game. Did anybody and, guess OnlyFans? Uh, no. No. No, although she was not uh, an unattractive individual. She, she was telegenic. How did her feet look? I didn't look at I her I know feet. you're a foot person. And it's interesting when you say feet because as the story goes on. So it goes back, it goes forward. And finally, mm. uh, somebody who also was not in the know said... What do you do? Well, it involves wildlife. Ooh, even better. And right away, uh, someone said, you hunt Burmese python. <gasps> and she says, no. Oh. Like, so back to square one. Womp womp. I said, uh, and then I, I don't know how we got it, but somebody else, they stayed in the swamps, and they said, what is it? She is a gator hunter. Oh, that's cool. She is a gator Where's Rob with the hunter. shoot him, Elizabeth? Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him, Elizabeth. And at this point, there's no more talking about it. Somebody says, turn on the video. And the lights go off, and we cut to uh, a video that's not, you know, crocodile hunter. It's not uh, production values mm -hmm. that would be attributed to a reality TV show. Mm. It is a video they're taking, but it's obviously a lot of handheld iPhone video that's going on. But these people are up to their waists in the reeds, and they are obviously in the swamp. And they th this process, the way they got the gator... By the way, I am not... I'm simply relaying this story. Mm -hmm. So PETA... If you if you freak out about this, I'm sorry. I'm just telling you what I saw. So, if it, because I don't know if this is a sophisticated way of hunting gators, but it's what they do. And apparently, they cast a line out into the uh, the little canal out there, and you see a guy. It's not her husband, and it's not her. It's another guy mm -hmm. that's that's hooked a gator, and he's he's reeling it in like he's got a mar a yeah. marlet on it. And, I say, and then the camera pans over, and there she is. And it's an older video because she's out to here, pregnant, oh my out God. in the middle of the swamp with gators. And unfazed by it, apparently. And then I, I asked her, I said, you were pregnant? She said, yeah. She's one of those kind of people where it's like, yeah, matter of fact, you know. Like a Tim Bertina type of vibe? Like, no, no, more like a uh, woman who's tougher than any man in the room vibe. You know what I mean? Well, that's, Woman that is unfazed. Depends by, on the men. That's probably most men. Well, I think that is most men, yeah. and uh, but not her husband, because her her husband appears to be a bounty hunter, Flo a Florida flow grown cracker. He really does. And then I said, "Hey, is he is he flow grown?" He said, "No, no. How about this? He's from Arkansas too." Mm. So I'm like, "Wow!" And they hook this thing, then they put another hook in it. And then uh, she says something like, okay, that's the bang stick. I said, bang stick? And Was apparently- it cheating in baseball? No, the bang stick is, uh, and then she's obviously toying with us a little bit. Ah, got and it. she said, and on my husband's hip, that's the smaller bang stick. I oh. said, oh, it's a gun, but it's not a normal oh, gun. I thought he meant, uh, this is what I, I was like, you mean his crotch? It's no, it's- because that would make sense too. Although based on the look, yeah. you know, I just figured. Yeah. But anywho, I'm looking at this and I'm I'm just, blown I bet away. You she's by it. wrestling his gator. Now s calm down. They're probably listening to this. Hi, so we have to be. I'm Oscar. That's Oscar who just got me in trouble. I have to say I'm this. I'm the pervert. They they finally hit the thing. Game over. Very quick. Like a billy club. The no, it's a. I think what it is is a charge, a bullet of some kind, oh. or a shotgun shell at the end of the bang that, stick. That's sad. Goodbye, Gator. So sad. that's where the PETA people, what's yeah, that? Yeah, that's, that's sad. Well, I mean- Why do they have to kill him? I, I, now, you're making this difficult. I mean, I, these are just questions I'm sure they've uh, answered look, before. I don't, I, I know that they would have an answer for you, but that I think this is- uh, Perhaps a population control issue to a degree. I thought it was catch and release. It is legal. 
whatever it is, it is legal. I don't think they would put a video up if it wasn't legal. Well, so that's all I, I have know to what say type about of circles that. you walk you you walk in, Mike. Did anybody Did, protest? They were like, "Hey, like, what about those poor gators?" Or somebody in the I back? I think there like, might have been an oh, it's what dead. about the gator? Yeah, it might have been oh, it's dead. And I also had that feeling where I was kind of like, okay, but I but I also was fascinated by uh, the whole process. Yeah. And then the questions start firing. I said, so uh, what do you do with the gator? Because I figured there would be, that's the happy ending. And she says something along the lines of, <laughs> it's the client's decision to uh, do with the gator what he wants. And oh, they don't even like take him to so others may <laughs> eat? I, I don't know. Oh, well, no. I don't know what's going on. We've but, had gator, you remember? Little Chewy. Yeah, they haven't. I wonder if it's good fresh, you know, if the, the gator's fresh. But, and there are people that know how to, uh, you know, take the hide off the gator and, and cut the gator into meat and all that stuff. And I don't. So that's the answer I get. It's not a satisfying answer, but I get that answer that that's what we do. It's the client's choice. Yes. What can a client do? You just leave it there? I don't know. I, I didn't ask any. But right after, and it's mm. dark when they're, when they're bringing this gator in. It's mm-hmm. pitch black. And so they, they cut to a still shot of, I think, four of these people, the, the wife, her husband, and two other guys uh, holding up the gator. They're holding up the gator. And it's big. It's a big-ass gator. And I was just uh, fascinated. And I, I said, that's, that's so very cool. And uh, it was towards the end of the evening. We were getting ready to go. I'd had, I'd had more than four beers. So I was, uh, I had a little beer buzz going a little bit and, uh, four beers is know. nothing for you. Well, it is, it's more sometimes, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. It's a long day. I was up at four 30 in the morning on Saturday morning. It was, it was time to go, you know, cause I had to, you know, get ready for the following day and get up early in the morning and get the house together mm-hmm. and get, you know, wait all day for my giants to lose horrifically <laughs> again. They were closer than ever though. Yeah. I, we should have bet it. We should, we, should have bet bet, we should have bet it. We should have bet the Giants in the spread. Mm-hmm. We'll 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 see how. Excuse me, little diet coke. Uh, we'll see how the uh, the day uh, the day shakes out. <laughs> how the week shakes out. I'd like to. Do, so it was fascinating yes. to me that we I, had this story. I, and like I didn't how get her you, name or anything. You mind your P's and Q's because mm-hmm. you clearly these are friends. Because I. I don't know if I could help being like, well, what would they do? What what options do they have? Is there an exit strategy for the carcass? Um, is it? Have you seen people just start chopping it up like it's, uh, you know, a, a deer, like a hunted if deer? If I had been more familiar yes. with the surroundings, Got it. or it could be either or. If I'd been more familiar with the surroundings, or I'd had more alcohol, I might have said something. Well, you don't just dump it out of the truck on the way driving home, do you? I didn't say that. I didn't say that because I didn't know. Because Ted the, Nugent taught us you can't grill it till you kill it. This is true. My, your hero, Ted Nugent. No, no. I just, you know, when I was into grilling at a at a high level, we he, ate snake. He kept at on my house one up. time. Yeah, it was fun. So snake I, was, I, we ate gator as well, Mike. I don't know. I if did you remember not that. like rattlesnake. I did not care for gator. Rattlesnake. Was was I, I didn't not like it. I was just like, this is interesting. An interesting texture. I remember that. It is a bit fishy, a bit chickeny, kind of a combination of both. Uh, it's, it's kind of a reptile taste. That's what it's got. So it was just fascinating to me. And I, I was impressed. I wonder because how much you get paid. She's out to there do pregnant that. in the middle of a swamp. Yeah. And, and so I said, mm-hmm. you know what I'll do since I didn't remember any names because I never do? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look it up online and I put Florida gator hunting, thinking that. You know, there'd be one or two videos of, uh, mm-hmm. oh, no, the world does this. Is this there like are cow tipping? Thousands. There, th- there are thousands of them. And it's, it's fascinating. Oh, by the way, speaking of uh, videos and wildlife, Mac, did you get my, uh, my email? I did not. Did, hmm. Could you look and check yeah, and see if moment. you got my email? I sent you an attachment because uh, this opening of the show today is going to be a very special oh, wildlife segment. Uh, did they say how much it costs? They didn't. It was obviously uh, something they do. She said they do it for, yeah, you know, they charge, but they, 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 they their friends go out with them. And I think they pay for 
the supplies. I don't know how much of a side hustle it is. Is but... it called gator? I'm looking the details up now as we speak. The gator okay. removal? No, probably not gator removal. Gator no, those are the guys that are hunting you know. cost. And I did not receive it, Mike. The cost of gator. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn it. Uh, you need a permit and license that looks like that. Guided hunts. Who knew? That's yeah, cool. People can go out and do it. And then equipment and gear. You get charged for the permit and licensing, the guided hunts, the equipment and gear, like processing fee, of course. Oh, man. Pretty elaborate, isn't it? Yeah, you can. Uh, there could be additional costs uh, like stake and conservation and habitat stamps. Didn't know that happened. I think there's a lot going Pretty on. Pretty impressive. I think there's a lot going on. And I think there's, uh, you know. In, it's, what is it, Naples, Florida? Naples, Florida. Might be Naples. Uh, we were closer to uh, Fort Myers, but it might be Naples. I'm just going to Naples well. to see what it, what. Uh... Not sure. Mm. Okay, got it. Woo! I love this thing. Okay, uh, Florida offers a statewide alligator hunt permit. Yes, you, you called it, Mike. Okay. All right. Uh, the permit's two hundred seventy-two dollars uh, for not for residents and a thousand twenty-two dollars for non-residents. That's interesting. They're from Arkansas. Uh, prices may range anywhere from five hundred to th- to a thousand dollar for the removal. Well, I don't know if it's a removal as much as it's uh, you know, it's something special. You still uh, got to go out there and kill it, right? Someone's got to face that danger. There's like a there's a there's like a a danger fee or a, or some sort of tax when people get on on roofs in the middle of storms, mm-hmm. let alone face a gator. That's got. I mean, that, that's dangerous. Uh, if you do it while you're pregnant, that's your choice. You're, I don't know if you're braver or you're making the wrong choices in life. But clearly, it's working out for her. I have a question about since we're doing this uh, live on air, and I am trying to send this to him. Yes. Uh, this attachment may be too large to you have send to do an it email. Your com- you have to do it through your computer, and then Google Drive will give it to him. So if you're in your computer, then you can send it that way. Can't do it from my phone. But if, no, not 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 if that. I mean, you could technically send it from your phone. I sent it from MailDrop. I, I sent it MailDrop. No, he's not going to get it because he's on a. He's not on a Mac. If you can send it from your email, can you just send it as, in Google Drive, from your phone? We've done so many technical things today with Rob, and it was uh, frustrating. So I'm just uh, nobody's I'm ever going to hear those. Those. It's going to be us. I know. I know. And I know. technically, you, you, you can just hit pause. Hey Matt, can you can you upload something from a like an, a text I'm, message? Yes, I, I yes, um, but I might have gotten it. Give me a moment. Okay, I got something. All right, good. Let's this see this. Exciting. So this is uh, we switch from gators. Oh, uh, okay. We switch from gators to my snake, Jake. So today he has graduated from mice to small rats, and I'm going. Uh, because they damage him if he tries to get a live rat, they can they can hurt the mm-hmm. snake. I've switched to frozen rats, and the frozen rats are small enough where he had no problem with it. And I figured since we were doing a little uh, Florida wildlife update today, I thought I would grab a picture or a video of the snake right at the end. And show you what the process is. Okay. This rat is, I will give you the size of it. It's about mm-hmm. tail tail to uh, nose, about uh, that big. But frozen. Frozen. You have to thaw it out. Carla loves that process because I go into the sink in the laundry room. She goes, is that your gross rat thing that you use? I said, yes, it is. I thawed out the, uh, I thawed out the, just the rat. Like, it was like hot water? Or? Okay. So now we're looking at a video. And uh, the video will show you. This is the tail end. That's Jake. And this is the tail That's good end. Video. Jesus. You can see the uh, the tail. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. See, that's the tail sticking out of his mouth there, and he's, he's just so finishing happy. it up. Look at him. He's finishing it up. That's right through the aquarium. And I show you. This guy's there. Not- he goes. Now he's lifting his head up. Look, he's lifting his head up to uh, to finish that. That rat, the frozen rat, Great video, you can see man. he's kind of doing the last little things like that. I'm looking at it. The, uh, Wonderful. He's big now. There you see him lift his head up yep. to get that thing. That's the last. It's an amazing 
accomplishment to mm. watch these snakes do it. I didn't give you the uh, the beginning of it. That that might have really grossed yeah, people Yeah, I don't out. need to see that. But That's if there's not. clamoring for it, I'll, uh, I'll no, do a more detailed video okay. of that. Maybe on like a pay-per-view. Now, is the tail gone? I can't see from my vantage Tail's gone. Point. Tail's gone. Good. Tail's gone. Now you're going to see what is the I have finished my meal yawn. And I can't wait. When a snake digests a creature, he will give what is called the after meal yawn that indicates that the job is done and he will uh he will go off to a place where he will find a comfortable sp- a space to curl up. There it wow. is. There's the yawn. And that's it. That's it. And that that's was his, well uh, worth it. There you go, Mac. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's good. Uh yeah. So Love that's it. uh that's my weekend of reptiles. It was uh South So Florida you fun. met uh a fl- uh, basically a gator wrangler with a bang stick with a bang stick and then you said oh i didn't know they had these frozen rats for jake he'll probably enjoy this and you see you feed them like once every two weeks how does jake get fed uh usually once a week i okay. go to the petco and i know they don't have live mice there and i say to the guy but i know they have frozen i said mm-hmm. where are your frozen mice because the last time a guy ran to the back and got me one this time the guy uh was not as dedicated as an employee went the cooler over there. <laughs> and I said, thank you. And I go over and I see uh, these boxes that have four small mice. And then there's a slightly larger box that has two small frozen rats. And there we go. Do you want to see one of them? Do you want to see one of the frozen rats? I, 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 got I can't lie to you. I don't. No. I do not. Come on. It's not my Come thing. On, you know, Mac, do you want to see one of Mac the frozen rats? Them, not sure. really. Oh, Mac, you're care. no fun. I, I don't like rats. He's soft. He's yeah. dead. Well, I mean, I still don't like. Fine. Show it I probably to me. don't like dead I'll be right rats. Back. If it'll make you happy, for God's sakes. America, this man <laughs> is broken. <laughs> he stepped away from the mic so I can just tell you. He is very broken. Yeah. And I know we love him for it. What was that? He, he opened up the fridge or the freezer <laughs> where he stacks his rats. No, he's just carrying it. Yeah, he literally. Look at him. He's not like he's sack. not afraid of that thing. It's like uh it's like, a, Oh man, what happened? You're fine. We can see you. Yes, see you now. All day. I love that you walked in there and you pulled one out. We heard the freezer close. It, it like you're like you're legit pulling out an ice cream sandwich. Hi, I'm Mike O'Mara, and I'm just here to tell you that uh, when it's con- when it's Hi. I'm Mike O'Mara. When it's time to feed Jake the snake. I use Arctic mice. <laughs> it, America, it's the same size of a, of a king size Klondike bar, the box. And it Reptiles looks- and uh, rodents can carry zoonotic diseases, including salmonella. Always wash your hands and any surface contacted thoroughly after handling reptiles, amphibians, or rodents. These rodents are treated with irradiation to help prevent accidental human illness. Keep frozen until you are ready to feed. Uh, reptiles and amphibians should not be handled prior, prior to or after feeding. Once rodent is completely thawed, grasp it by the tail using feeding tongs to prevent accidental bites mm. from the snake, obviously. Uh, you may need to wiggle the rodent to simulate life. <laughs> Just like Do you want. Uh, now, I'm showing you the box it comes in. I, yeah, I'd love to see it. Now I got to see it because it looks like a Klondike. Sure. Bar. Yeah, might be. Uh, let me give a warning. Uh, this isn't saying? gross. It's fun now. This now that it comes in a box, you're good. Th- you're gonna have to put a warning on the video today. Explicit. This contains material that may be unsettling. Wait a second. There's a number two up stuff. top. Did you miss that? Are there two that come in a box? There are two rats. Two small. Two frozen small rats. Two parakeets. All right, Mike is pulling it out now. There you go. Yeah, that's sad. Okay, That's I'm putting sad. it back up. Then you got that an way. albino. That's good luck. I there thought rats were gray and looked like Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja it's Turtles. It's the circle of life, Oscar. That's what it is. I it's didn't know they were white. Life. Well, they're not all white, but... Uh, don't, you know, don't make it about race. The, You know, in this house, all the rats are white. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's just so bad. That is so... Mine, oh, it's got, are, yeah. uh, mine are all like five I see him running across the street. I'm like, where did you, what land did you come from? This gives you the, uh, the calories. This get, 
This actually gives you the uh, nutritional breakdown of the rack. Br uh, bring it on. Uh, crude protein, 61.8%. Uh, mm. Crude fat, 326 mm. Crude fiber. I didn't know a rat had fiber, but I guess of course it does. 2%. Moisture, 80%. See, we're all just water. We living creatures. Uh, dry matter, not sure what that is, 20%. And ash. Ash. I don't know what that means. Ash, uh, nine point eight percent. So there to figure that out. Put it. Put it back in the freezer. Don't you want him to go bad? I'll I'll, I'll put him in yeah. there. He's not gonna. He's not gonna thaw during this show. What Oscar. if he gets equal? It's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be wonderful. I'm talking about Jake. It's it's, it's like gonna when be my lovely. mom lets a steak uh, basically defrost in my dad's hood. So and then it she was. Feeds a, it, to us. it was a relatively full weekend. That You're sounds really, like uh, a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and uh, now people are saying you had it, but I handled the plastic. I didn't touch any live anything, so. Yeah, you're, oh. you're okay. I'm Rat, grossing myself You know, the, the, the amount of disease that's carried in a rat, like, I think it's, it's, a, it's a byproduct of where the rat was found. Does it say where the origin of that rat They're is? They're irradiated, so they are nuked before they are, uh, you know, put anywhere. Yeah, but before does it they... say like made in X? It does not. I think I think produce has to tell you. No, I don't think it's you like where they came from. Yeah, like imported from. Are they free range? Manufactured by Reptile Industries Incorporated, Naples, Florida. Always buy American, Mike. Always buy go. American. The frequency of feeding depends on the species. Check with your vet or pet professional. For feeding frequency advice. Now, if you're thinking, look, there are whole channels that people have with feeding with oh, yeah. with with venomous snakes. I don't do that. I don't I don't do that gladiator shit for your entertainment. No, I do not no. do that. You're just teaching um, us. Yes, you're educating us. Release rodent from tongs once it is acquired by your reptile or amphibian. So, uh, oh, by the way, when you go to the pet store and you get you get frozen mice, yeah, the guy or lady behind the counter always goes. What you got? Oh, what I a, said ball what a, python. What a creep. It's getting bigger all the time. And uh, and he took this in mid-shed, which is yeah. rare for one of these. What if you, so, what if you, just one time for me, what if you were like, well, what do you mean? Well, what are you feeding? Like, I, I eat them myself. No, just say, look, sometimes I get long conference calls in the car and I need something to keep me going. <laughs> They're really tasty. Yeah. And then just walk out, have a nice day. Mm -hmm. And just amble out. Great, the guys, great, uh, dealing great with it. protein. So that's uh, that's the weekend of reptiles in the Omera household. That sounds like fun. May I, for just one tiny second, can I brag on my kid? P uh, please uh, do. I saw this online, and I was like, I can't wait. I don't want to go into it. the details of what it is, but I never but I will tell you that uh, it really. What's it? What did you? Yeah, like, I don't want to discuss it. Well, Carla posted it. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I it was a. Nice a he was nominated by his science teacher to participate in a summer program at a major university and it's going to be overnight and it's going to be a week of uh, of science and a week of medicine and a week of forensic medicine Swings. and uh it, i'm I, i'm just incredible it's just one little thing after the other i'm extremely proud of the fact that uh, he did this and it's amazing to think that these accolades are coming his way at this young age as he's standing in the kitchen arguing uh, with his mother about whether the dogs are going to be walked by him. That's a, you know, as I'm sitting there, go respect, please respect. And, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm between Congratulations. football and, and he's a well-rounded young man. And I'm happy that he's making such a good impression on the people around him. And I just hope he keeps it up. I hope he don't have that terrible flip, but he gets a lot of love in this house and, you know, a lot of discipline as well, and uh, I'm I'm very happy that he got there. When you got when we got this letter, it was completely out of left field. We had no idea it was coming in. It was like your uh, congratulations, your son has been nominated. Now, because I'm a pure cynic, I always think, well, if the money's green, you know, because you do have to pay for this little thing that he goes mm -hmm. to. Uh, but then I saw the various alumni that were included. In one of the papers that uh, you know, and it seemed like a quite a prestigious academic it, it, honor. It absolutely is. Like, like even at ten years old, you can put that away in the college file, and uh, that'll be something that he gets to hold on to. So I was pretty, uh, pretty psyched, actually, to the point of being kind of emotional that uh, 
another teacher. Now, this is the second time he's been nominated That's co- for so cool. something special at his school. And this is a school with a lot of good kids that go there, academically uh, stellar places, and uh, we're very, very happy for him. And I'm pretty well sure that he now he has played football at an older age than I did and played it successfully at a skill position when I was a center. Mm. He is now uh, excelling in mathematics, which I was incapable of doing anything with mathematics. And he is also loving, and I mean loving, science. So, oh, and the other thing they're going to do is engineering, too. They're going to do robotics when they go to this. So I'm just this is amazed. The, the, this is this is the dream, right? You, almost you called want, you over the weekend. You I want, almost well, called I, you over the weekend. should have. I would, that's great. I saw it online. I was like, this is this kid. And Look, I put it up online, and of course, person said something like, uh, "Somebody's going to clock watch you or something." And I'm like, I took it down because the yeah, guy freaked yeah, me yeah. out because there's always that dude. Time. There's yeah, always the that. Yeah. that like, dude. Just you looking out the, for you. I know you're doing know. everything you can. You want you want to keep. I don't I know. I want what, to brag on my kid. I, I want to share. I don't know what it's like to raise kids. I know. But let me say this: I think the top tier is like keep them off drugs, right? Yep. The second absolutely. tier is. Keep them off the pole. And the third tier is keep them off OnlyFans. And if you or, can do those three, you're already winning. Look at look what's happening. Or as Coach Ray Nicoletta said, Oscar, when I was in high school back in the 1800s, yes. Ray Nicoletta said, keep a boy in sports and keep him out of courts. That is, he wins. That is what he said. I swear to God, that Put was that his quote. Put that on a sign. He, it was on a bathroom hall pass. I love it. That's what he had there. Like so. play like a champion and then that sign. Very, very exciting. All right, we got to take a break. Uh, right now, you're going to be hearing that. And uh, we will be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with more. The roundtable comes up next right here. You are listening to the Michael Merritt Show. Whoa, whoa. This podcast is sponsored by Naked Wines. Naked Wines is a subscription service that connects you to the finest independent winemakers on the planet. And man, is the wine great. You get wine as often as you like for a fraction of the price you'd pay in stores, up to 60% off. You see, by cutting out the retail middleman's costs and markups, winemakers can pass those savings on to you without skimping on quality. And the best part? Every bottle is a passion project from an independent winemaker. So you are literally making an independent winemaker's dream come true. Mm which is nice because the wine is so good. <laughs> so head to nakedwines.com slash TMOS. That's nakedwines.com slash TMOS and click enter voucher. That's E-N-T-E-R-V-O-U-C-H-E-R. Click enter voucher in the top right when you get to the website. Then enter TMOS for both the code and password to get six bottles of wine for just thirty nine ninety nine with shipping included. That's $100 off and less than $7 per bottle. Nakedwines.com slash TMOS and use the code and password TMOS to grab six bottles for just $39.99. Nakedwines.com slash TMOS. Code and password TMOS for $100 off your first six bottles. Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, hey, I can do it. Yeah, there we go. Release the Kraken! Thank you. Thank you all very much, everybody. Uh, Over the weekend, I don't know how much you tracked with it, but uh, for those of us that uh, were grownups in the TV generation, Suzanne Summers uh, from the hit shows Three's Company and Step by Step, she passed away yesterday after a, man, what a slog. What Mm. a sad, sad Mm. situation. A 23-year battle with breast cancer. She was 76 years young. You may also remember her. She was the blonde in the T-Bird all the way back in the day in American graffiti. Suzanne would have turned 77 today. And one of the great theme songs of TV, Come and Knock on Our Door. Uh, I saw this news and I was shocked because I felt like, it's not because I didn't realize her age or what she's in fighting. It's just more like this this lady's too young to go. Yeah, it feels that way. Right? the, the people in their 70s now, it's uh, it's different than it was back in the day. Back in the day, they popped off all the time, uh, and it wasn't that significant. I think, do you remember, I will ask you mm-hmm. a, you probably have seen it on the news. Do you know the particular product that she was famous for hawking? 
It was the fitness one? It was a fitness product. Oh, God. Surprised uh, you don't remember this. Mac, do you happen to know? Seven minute abs? No, it was not. Six minute abs. <laughs> Two little monkeys sitting on a fence. Remember that tale from the sea? <laughs> uh, Mac, do you happen to know? Uh, I do not. Do you know who it this was... lady is? No. Oh, this is great. This oh, is the first time. Baby. I love it. You're 30 years old and you don't know who Suzanne Summers sounds, is. I, the name sounds familiar, but when I pulled her up, I do not recognize her. Here's yeah. the theme of the show. Someone knock on our door. Someone's waiting for you. Yours mm -hmm. and yours three's company too. About a, uh, I don't know, about a, a horny single guy that was a roommate with two hot babes. I thought Joyce it was about threesomes. No, <laughs> it was about Joyce DeWitt and Suzanne Summers and uh, the fun that they would have when they were joining uh, together. Are you and sure? they, he always Yeah, he always had the hots for it. And then you had uh, Mr. Roper, played by mm. Norman Fell. You got the wrong guy for this discussion. I had the <laughs> Regal Beagle. The Regal Beagle. Yeah. Tried uh, that in college. Mm. That really? Yeah, I almost passed out. I could tell you the story about a buddy I know that had lemon juice above his bed. Let's uh, move on, shall we? I think that's uh, oh, I get to I get to move on. There safe we go. home, uh, Suzanne Summers. Uh, safe travels to you, and that is uh, kind of sad that uh, we yeah, lost. It was, you know, it was I don't want to lick my finger to turn the page because I just touched the mouse. I'm going to get salmonella before this goes. <laughs> uh, Netflix just announced that they're going to start opening actual brick and mortar stores. The stores will offer retail, dining, and live entertainment related to Netflix shows and movies. It's not clear what kind of merch they're going to sell. Uh, you know, I have no idea why they're doing this. I, I really don't. I don't. I don't get it. The stores will be called Netflix House, and the first two will open in an unannounced city for uh, in two unannounced cities in 2025. From there, they hope to expand to major cities around the world. Isn't it yeah, just it's a, good, a, it's a movie it's, theater? That's what they say. Doors they're, will call, offer, they're not calling it a movie theater, but... It says brick and mortar store, not a movie theater. Dining, retail, live entertainment related to Netflix shows and movies. Yeah. Probably appearances by cast members. Oh, wait shows. a second. Do you think these are like pop-up experience? They're probably like Planet Hollywood is what they're, yeah, they're but, like. Uh, maybe even deep... Mac, do you know more about this? Yeah, I, I see here that they're having like a Squid Game obstacle course. In yeah, like you gotta you gotta you gotta take a deeper dive in almost uh, uh, what is it? Uh, immersive experience, an immersive experience for the brands that Netflix owns. They're big enough wow. where they can do this. I mean, if I'm in a city and I'm driving by and I see yeah. this, I'd check it out. You know, right after I go to the Cheesecake Factory and the PGA Super. I store. went to that Bridgerton experience in a warehouse. You hated that, didn't you? I did, but. If Netflix owned it, you went because you were being kind to your wife, which yeah, I think they, is admirable. But they get the money now, not these mm -hmm. like spin off spoofs. It's funny, though. It's just, you know, I would think that with the money that they generate with their subscriptions and everything else, it would be, uh, they would have to be looking ahead to some kind. You're the business major. Yeah. They'd have to be looking at some uh, profit end. For this, do it's you think a, this is feasible? Yes, because it's just like a it's a mini parks and entertainment revenue stream. Mm -hmm. Because you've got Disney in the movies, and you got to go to Disney and see Star Wars, the Star Wars, uh, you know, exhibit, and see the Millennium Falcon. You so like they're give they're giving you another opportunity to take your money. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to start in 2025, so they still have plenty of time you, to change their mind. If you could open anything, I'm sorry for rushing go through ahead. this. I'm sorry. If you could open anything that you could experience, and be honest, your favorite movie come to life, what would it be? Oh, man. Behind the Green Door. No, that's for old people. That's old pornography for people. If I could have an experience... If they, if, like a real film, about, a film. Are you talking about one movie? Yeah, one movie. Well, I don't like like movies that have uh, theme park rides and stuff like that. You know, yep. I mean, uh, you know, it's just not my bag. I don't dig that kind of stuff. I'm not oh. into that uh, type of thing. If you were talking about uh, a a movie cast mm -hmm. that I would love to, uh, you know, have a a chat with, yes, uh, that would probably be the the cast of the Shawshank Redemption. Okay. I probably would like to talk to that yeah. Wharton. 
and just ask him where he got that character. And I'm sure there have been interviews where he does that kind of thing. But as far as like, would I would I like to be you know in the plane that Tom Cruise flew? Uh, you know, in Top Gun. No, I don't give a brat's ass. About uh, I like the nice movie. Speaking my language, I like the movies themselves. I don't need more. Just like I really don't need a Netflix store. I like Netflix, but don't. You it's find... not for you though. It's not even for me. It's for the Max of the world. It's for the young. Mac, do you get uh, curious uh, about something like this? Not really, but okay. You're a movie buff, don't you? Go and make out with your 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 boy toy on on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I go to movies. What's but, the last one you saw, Mac? Uh, Dumb Money. Dumb Money. Very good movie about the GameStop stock and it stars. Was all, who, are the, who are the stars? Uh, Paul Dano is the star. Okay. Uh, has a, a Seth Rogen as the uh, head of the hedge fund. You'd love it, Mike. It's it's the it is it's a great movie. Like, it's it's the whole meme stock story. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you want to you want to invest with me. <laughs> he yeah, gets put put the money in my head. Yeah, he fund. gets yeah. screwed over completely. Is, still, hey, is Paul spoiler. Dano is Paul Dano still as weird as ever? Uh, yeah, but it works in this because he plays just a weird guy, just a normal weird guy on the internet. That's a stretch for him, isn't it? I, I love, he's great. I, I, to be fair, I love Paul Dano ever since. I love uh, Paul Dano. Lit- uh, uh, is it Dano Sunshine. or Dano? I don't know exactly. I think it's Dano. I think it's Dano. Could be. Yeah. I don't know exactly, but I've loved him ever since uh, Little Miss Sunshine. I drink <laughs> your milkshake, Eli. <laughs> I drink your milkshake. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, great, again, um, great reviews. But he goes, "You're a movie buff. Would you go to, like, you? You're, I guess maybe me, I'll, I'll, the, even better, a Nintendo Land experience." Yes. There you go. That's they, what they, it was. That's coming out soon in California. It's already. It's I already. Heard. It's already live. It is. It yes, is? It's okay. live. I saw it being built when I was out there. Well, good luck and uh, good luck to Netflix because God knows they need more money. <laughs> uh, Paul McCartney confirmed what many of us have been thinking for years and years. Yoko Ono's presence at the Beatles recording sessions was disruptive. Mm. He says uh, he's waited a long time, but he says when John Lennon got together with Yoko, uh, the band just had to deal with her being there all the time. A lot of the fans have always said that. Here's the quote from Paul. The idea was that if John wanted this to happen, then it should happen, and there was no reason why not. Anything that disturbs us is disturbing. It was an interference in the workplace. So not being very confrontational, we just bottled it up and got on with it. This was uh, towards the end of their career when they were working on the album, uh, Let It Be. And uh, it was Yoko, Yoko, Yoko. And, uh, you know, that's uh, really. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I don't, I don't even hate Yoko as much because I didn't understand her when I was younger. Uh And I still, I think that she's becoming less relevant now. Yeah, she's less. As right. history the, looks back, the Beatles are less relevant now. I think the Beatles are are still. They're, I, just, I mean, they're iconic, yes. but they're not what you know. I mean, it's age. It, 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 it happens like that, you know. Fair. Happens to everybody. Yeah. Uh let's move on. Yeah, shall but we? they tour all the time. I know they do. Uh, let's they move on. They just go out once a year. Uh, finally, once uh, every three years. A uh, <laughs> that's that's kind of what my schedule is going to be. A man who has uh, fathered. Multiple children around the world has revealed that he's shifting his focus from sperm donation to finding love. Mm. The guy's name is Kyle Gordy. He is known for his controversial hobby uh, as a sperm donor. And he claims to be the biological father of 65 children. Count them. Uh, In a bid to help struggling families, I always like it when... A guy that's got a weird little kink, you know, to help the struggling family. Yeah, you know, they can't find the, uh, you know, the baby batter that they require. Uh, he offers his help for free. Isn't that nice? And is supposedly inundated with messages. There he is. There's the He's guy. He's got the like complete perv se- serial killer vibe, doesn't he? Uh, but you know, here's the thing. Friends of his have said he's a pretty nice guy offhand. Uh, in a bid to help struggling families, he offers his help for free and is supposedly getting lots of messages from women on Instagram who want to have his child. Yuck. I don't think they want to have sex with him, but they want to have his child. Now, look at this guy. 
if you are if you're if you're going for the perfect baby, a specimen. You're going for, yeah, I mean, I don't. It's not a good picture of the dude. Well, he's got uh, a neck beard. He's got a neck beard. Do you want your is, baby uh, with a neck beard? Are there any other pictures of him, Mac, floating around out there? Yeah, there's uh, a few. Give me a moment. Kyle Gordy, uh, previously the 32-year-old, revealed his admiration for another prolific father. This is a guy that he likes a lot, Nick Cannon. There you go. Oh, there. Now he looks totally different in that picture, and he looks like he's a little longer in the tooth, and it looks like he's got a- uh, Clean shape. He's working on a dad bod a little bit. He's got some guns. I do him I'll there. Him the other picture now. <laughs> but I can't have well, his baby. You just want, hey, look, he just wants to, you know, grab a cup of coffee with mm-hmm. him, hand you a vial. That's all it is. Uh, yeah, this guy likes Nick Cannon. He'd be opening, uh, he'd be open to doing a competition show where women could win his sperm. No, oh, yep. that, that's just isn't gross. That nice? Now he's shared that he's uh, going to be shifting his focus onto finding a meaningful relationship. He's 32. Glad he decided that. And he plans on minimizing the amount he donates uh, in a bid to find the right woman. It's gross on so many different levels. Did you, you know? give? Did you ever give plasma in college for like the quick thirty dollars? Which is I did a not. joke now. No, oh, I was I, always a little weird about I that. I definitely did because my roommate. I don't know if he was. My, I, I don't. You know how you sometimes wonder like where all the money went. Mm-hmm. Like, and I really you mean did, in college. Yeah, because I just like when we would go out, I knew where my money went. Mm-hmm. It went to Bent Willie's at WVU. I'm a 64 Oscar, and I still ask that question yeah. of myself on a daily basis. But where did all the money go? So I knew that I was like, okay, clearly, I need something to bridge the gap. So mm-hmm. we, he told me that he goes to this place called and gets gives plasma once in a while. So I went with him a couple of times. And they the guys you, that line up outside those places yeah, to sell their blood, just a, a few shekels here and there. No mm-hmm. big deal. But I feel like he went every week or every other week. And he we- had to, to, to have that, uh, you know, that situation. Yeah, I mean, right? that, uh, yeah absolutely. And this guy does it with the, uh, the other Yeah, but stuff. he's doing well, it through, like, the it. black market. Jesus. Gross. It's 65 children and a fan of Nick Cannon. Mm. What a wonderful world this is. We're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to uh, talk to Oscar uh, about a brand new uh, dating show. Yes. And by the way, the title you gave it uh, before the show, is that really the title really of it? It's really the title. F-Boy Island? Yes. Wow. That, they, they ought to put that in the Netflix store. <laughs> that would be a uh, real special. Uh, we will be back with more. You, ladies and gentlemen, have the pleasure of listening to the Mike O'Mara Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's talk about Chime. Credit scores might not seem like a big deal, but low or no credit, can jam up your financial dreams. That's where Chime sweeps in with its secured Credit Builder Visa credit card. Millions trusted to power up their credit scores. Safely boost your score with everyday buys and prompt payments. No annual fees and no credit check to begin. Plus, no minimum balance or overdraft fees. It's your passport to a passport to all Visa accepted spots, all while bolstering your credit with your own funds. Level up your credit game with Chime. Seize your financial future. Start building up your credit right now. Open a Chime checking account with at least a $200 qualifying direct deposit to get started. Get started at Chime.com slash TMOS. That's Chime.com slash TMOS. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank N.A., member FDIC. Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. On-time payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score. Late payment may cause a negative impact on your credit score. Results may vary. Mm. So uh, I know you're into all the uh, the geriatric dating shows. There's the it's just uh, there's just one, and it's one uh, one season. It's the, and golden, that, the bachelor, golden Bachelor. Right? Is there any buzz in your neck of the woods about this show? Any? You know what? There There has to be. The car carriers are here. Uh, They're offloading, you know, the people that are like, I can't drive my own car. So uh, today in particular, I was over at uh, the local uh, shoppery and I was going around a roundabout in back of a Lincoln MKZ that was going negative miles per hour. It was actually going in reverse. Mm. It was that it was so they're all here 
They don't think about anything like this. They're all paired up, Oscar, all of them. They're all paired up. I know one dude who's my age that's single, and it's and he's not a handsome man by any stretch of the imagination. He's richer than I am, but he is not a handsome man. And he comes in, and he wants to talk about his dating experiences, and I throw up in my mouth <laughs> every time I hear it because apparently that world that's out there, yeah. which is new to a lot of these senior-type people, you know, they're all swiping left or whatever the they're on their freak apps. they're supposed to dating do. Apps, yeah. And they're into it. But I don't know if they're sitting at home watching okay. The Golden Bachelor. I, I, I think that. it's it's entertaining. Uh, I, I mentioned this last week that the the bat, the Golden Bachelor, he's a widower, that the women are funny. Uh, some of them are a little older, so they pass out during the rose ceremony and they like miss it. Like funny, like senses of humor funny or just funny to look at no funny like wacky funny okay like wacky right. over the like, top funny like they're not they're not trying to be funny just the fact that they're pursuing no, they've been this cast man. by a like by a major a t- television network they're perfect okay uh All right. and well, man, well i'm curious I, i'm sorry yes. but I, I don't like to dwell on it but i have to ask you what makes what makes them perfect because they're are they big personalities? They're these big ladies? personalities. Uh, personalities. They they have great backgrounds. I, I might have mentioned off air or on air that one of the contestants, um, the or, you know, vying for the Golden Bachelor's love, is an once dated prince. Like so, she's she clearly and or celeb. She just dates celebrities of some sort. Are I'm, the I'm, women I'm, that that do this? Are they? Um, what's the nice way? I don't want to be sexist. I don't want to get in trouble. Let me give you some age ranges. You got to be okay. sixty and above. Sixty, but not fifty. I'm sorry. Fives. Fifty. I'm um, fifty and above. Fifty, 50 and, and above. above. 50 and okay, above. so yeah. uh, you know, I think of Christy Brinkley. Are there any? Uh, yeah, there, women there, that there, are. There are some women that you're, you don't even you, like. It's super funny. fit. The girls in in the, I've seen three episodes. In the first episode, when the the batch the the contestants, I guess um, the ladies arrive in the limos and whatever other cars are coming in. They're they're catty to each other because like she's she's definitely not over fifty or whatever age it is. Like they they someone. Oh, you looks, mean they think someone she's so someone good or someone women I've had work done. She's or, had so much work done to her, man. and they show that. And they just had one uh, contestant that had to go home early because her daughter had a complicated, um, uh, like uh, I like guess C section and. She wanted to go home and be with her daughter, and then that's one of the Golden Bachelor's girls. So she's like, they started crying because they thought they had something. I was Did like, she split. She split. She left for family. Oh. So what it is essentially is a group of women that are doing what Logan Roy describes right here. Sometimes it is a big d- competition, only for women. They're fighting for it. Yes, and are. <laughs> I mean, those shows work because they're the favorites and then they're the ones that you hate. It's, it, yeah, right? and it's, it, look, it's, you have your villains and they okay. they rise through editing or however they're cast, they, they rise to the top. And we're just starting to see the villains emerge, which and I really appreciate. they're going to do a appreciate. Golden Bachelorette, right? They'll have that. They'll I have that. not That'll heard that come down. I, I have not heard that. Of course yet. they're going to do that. Like, I don't know if they'll do that back to back. Cheap program. They could. Of course they're going to do they it. They could. But, All right. but in that same vein, um, F Boy Island is actually in its third season. This is the first time Do I'm they hearing use about the F it. word. No, they they say F Boy Island. If you don't know what an F Boy is, that's what they're trying to figure out here. They have ladies figuring out if the men, the F Boys, as the kids like to call them, are actually there to commit or just be an F Boy and F around. Okay. And right. as I'm watching this, season three, by the way, going to be on CW. Um, I'm like, oh. I didn't know there was three seasons, so I had to take a deeper dive into season one, season two, and just take a gander. Didn't watch all the seasons, just picked, just poked What's around. What's the network again? It's the CW, Mike. Oh, so this is actually on regular television. It is now, yes. They call it F Boy Island. Yeah. Wow. You, Crazy. I mean, I think we all had our F Boy phase when we were younger. No, I no? don't. No, no. I mean, I, I my look, my. You were you, much more. You've been more married a, three times. You're telling me you weren't ever an F boy. Uh, you were a swordsman. I was never a swordsman. I never was. I had to earn it. I had to earn it. I, I had say, to. Use, I had to pay for it. 
I had to pay for it. Well, occasionally. Uh, but I, but you know, I, no, it just was not, I wouldn't describe myself as that. I think you were, I think you were to a degree. I think you were. I, I just said you know, I was. I know. So, I mean, you understand what this is and uh, it's just right away. I come to it from the perspective of a father of two daughters, as opposed to just observing these guys. And I, I mean, I don't, I haven't even seen the show you have. It has. Have you seen it? Or yeah, of is it course. Just being promoted? No, it's in its third. It's third season. I had to take a deeper dive to find season one. I want to punch the TV screen, and I haven't even seen the show because I bet these guys are are swinging D's. Oh yeah, that they are, have like like charisma. Like one of them, they is, do. One of them is an artist, like re- with real oil paints, but and he sells his he sells his art in Manhattan, and, and now you know, I, I don't know if he actually. Sells are on the side of the street in Manhattan or at an actual gallery. I don't know, but it makes he makes them sound like it's it's cool. And I'm like, all right, let me see your paintings and your dick. You know, excuse what? Yeah, I have to tell you. Remember when Jimmy and I went out to Sturgis? Yes, and we went with our buddy Rich, who rode his motorcycle in from L.A. Mm. And Jimmy was Jimmy. I was me. Yeah, job of the hut on a motorcycle. And Rich. Was about six two, six three. Yeah, he's good looking guy, charisma, everything. Good looking guy, yes. and everywhere we went was the same drill. We went to a lot of bars. We went to a lot of watering holes, and he had. When you say charisma, he had this way about him, yeah. which was this BS sensitive guy mm-hmm. routine that was me. It, one, it, he just had that vibe of a man that does this. With such skill yeah. that it's, uh, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, uh, what the hell? Tradecraft. To, no, I'm trying to where they can't resist. It's irresistible. Second nature, irresistible. It's irresistible yeah, okay. for women. Gotcha. And he did it, and, and Jimmy and I, one night, were going back to our no-tell motel on our motorcycles, and Rich stayed behind at the end of the bar, chatting with this very attractive bartender. I said, well, that's the way he does mm-hmm. it. And I don't know whether he did or he didn't, but it was just uh, the way. And all these guys are probably like that. Slick, do you, kind of like know their ways around. I was never that do guy. Do you never, think never in a minute. Carla, because Carla's younger, 20 years younger yes. than you. 22? 22. 21. 20, 21 you. years younger. And by the way, Carla and I celebrated 20 years together. 20 yeah. years together. A little her, longer. You met her when she was 19? No. Was she was now. 21. Excuse me. Um, Maybe 22. Can you call her and ask her on, on just on speakerphone if she knows what an F boy is? Yeah. Yeah. She's here. She probably is? Sleeping. I don't know if she's, I think she's here, but she's Mac, probably sleeping. Mac, do you know sleeping. what an F boy is? Have you heard the term? Yeah, I have. You don't seem, you're disgusted by it. I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't care for him. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Was your brother an F boy before he got married? Hello. Hey, Maybe? babe. Oh, uh, oh, can you come in here for a second? Sure. Thank you. All right, uh, she's making her way into the studio. Okay, sure. here we I'll go. Move over like this. Do you think she knows? I think she knows. She's heard. She's got to have heard the term. Man, I don't have her head. You, you ask her. Just ask her. I'm. Well, I just. I don't have the. Come here, come here. Don't just come in like that. Hi. Right. Well, you got Winslow attached to you. Okay. Can you come over, please, to the camera? Thank you. Hi. Hi. That's Hello. Mrs. O'Mara. Uh, Oscar is watching a TV show on the CW called F Boy Island. Oh, do you know what an F Boy is? I would assume. What do you assume it is? Bra- uh, <laughs> <laughs> you all said the frat boy. No. F U. Yes. Well, of course. Right. No, no, but an F Boy, like just you know. Do you know F-boy. what it is? Do you know what it's like? What he's like? What that kind of guy's like? I wouldn't know. No. Okay, see, Aww, she's innocent. So sweet. She's innocent. Can you so hold up sweet. Winslow for the people to see? Because they haven't seen him in a long time. Can you? Do you mind? We're going to show you Winslow. You got a good right egg. Now. All right, here you go. All right, here, here she, here he is. Here's Winslow. Wow, he is Hi, huge. Wins. Hello, Winslow. Look at you, buddy. Here's Winslow. And you want to come in too? Be in the in the camera. He's Congratulations so sweet. on your nomination. Lean in. There say, he is. Everybody. There's the nuclear Woo! family right there, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Fantastic. Look at that. Okay. Wonderful. Everybody Congratulations. Dismissed. God bless. Everybody dismissed. We have to take a break. Uh, we'll come back with uh, something. I know we will. That's what we do. I think, uh, I think she Michael knows. She's just, being, she's just being a lady. I'm just not my headphones out. 
Don't argue. I'm Don't over argue here now. Mother. I'm over here now. I will be right back with more fun and thrills. You are listening to the Mike O'Mara Show. Well, don't arm on the air. Don't argue. Uh, relive and preserve your cherished memories with Legacy Box. Mm. Safely digitize your family's precious moments. It's so easy. Visit LegacyBox.com slash TMOS for an exclusive 40% discount. They handle over 15 types of analog media, including VHS tapes, Super 8 millimeter film reels, and photo negatives. As the world's largest digitizer with a decade of experience, Legacy Box has helped over a million families relive special moments, from weddings to Christmases to beach trips to school plays, and of course, Canadian Thanksgiving. Mm. I'm not going to say boo, Rob. I'm not going to say boo. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS to save 40%. Buy today. Send it in when you're ready. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. That's LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. Uh, Rob will have his audio system fixed tomorrow yes. uh, from his home, and uh, it will be very exciting to have him there, and uh, we will be doing that uh, tomorrow. It's Oscar and Mike today. I wanted to get this in there before the end of the show because this is important. Saturday night after I met the Gator Hunter, uh, Oscar, yes. we were driving back. And, uh, oh, before I do that, wait a minute, before I do that. I don't before wanna, you, you do that. It's a confection that you can get at, at your local grocery store. Um, I have what is called sunburned eye. And I'm going to- uh, I think uh, a lot of motocross guys get it. The doctor, my eye doctor, months ago, said that uh, people that get this are many times people that work outside, mm -hmm. people that are in the landscaping business, mm -hmm. people that are in the farming business, people that are outside uh, tend to get this. And uh, he said, we, uh, we'll give you some steroidal eye drops and then we'll put you on lubricating eye drops and then we'll see what happens. And now it's happened again. So I want to uh, see if I can uh, do this. Let's see it. Zooming in, zooming in, zooming All right, hold in. Hold on a second. Is it red? I can't see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I see it now. This guy, look at the poor guy. Oh, that is a bloodshot cornea. My God. That's Bob Costas, isn't it? Yeah. See that? That looks painful. Isn't that nasty? That's like isn't a gash. That friggin' nasty. It is really eyeball. horrible. That is and I got I've got all sorts of it's right on the uh the inside yeah. the inside part it's like the right Andy, here. The Audi. It's Ugh, gross. It's, it's terrible. Yeah, it's so terrible. What's the what's that. the prognosis? Um Old I got one eye go, Willie. Look, I'm trying. I'm trying to. What the hell is that? Uh, I'm trying. Now what happened right to Mike? Uh, he lost an eye in the sun. Well, you don't mess around with your eye. No. You know the the one the the one between. You know, How are you going to shoot baskets when you are you only have a monocle to gauge it's, the distance? I have to keep an eye. I've got me the uh, the lube the lube nice. eye drops that I'm putting on right now, and then if it continues, he said they go in and they can uh, like scrape off the uh the dead part it's mm. like having a bad sunburn with uh with dead skin no. that's what it is right i'm now, going so. to the optometrist this uh this thursday afternoon do you have, do you have issues i don't know if what do they call it uh macular degeneration no you don't degeneration x you you have ma you're in your 40s you have macular degeneration i don't know but oh. when i went to chat gpt and gave it my symptoms they said it's are things getting darker. They are getting darker, but I don't. I think it's just a byproduct. Well, that's age. That's age, right? But what are your other symptoms? Because macular dege degeneration is really something that can, you know, be bad for you, and you can go blind. Yeah, that's why WebMD is wrong all the time. You shouldn't be doing it online. You shouldn't. No, be, that's why I'm going. Your, I'm going to the optometrist. Have you talked to either one of your uh, medical brothers and sisters? No, they. They. I think it's been some time since they've helped me with anything medical. Okay. Yeah, well, like, shake, shake it off. You've been healthy. You've been okay. Shake it off. You've been doing all right. But those, yeah, I also don't like to complain. I know. You know. You like to uh, stoically go about your business yep. with that. Um, you like, I remember there was a time in your life where romantically you'd hit a bump in the road and you were not a happy man. Oh, yeah. And My ex-girlfriend cheated on me with a WWE superstar. And I'm not sure whether this was that time or it was another time, but I remember you came to- the studio we had in my house in Manassas, Virginia, and you opened up a pint of, I think it was Jamoka Ben and Jerry's. Almond Fudge. And Baskin Robbins. Baskin Robbins Jamoka Almond yep. Fudge. And you ate it because you were distraught. 
There's so Americans. If you've ever been to a duo Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins, and I'm not sure if they're still around, but they had a wonderful one in Manassas. Mm -hmm. And I was just driving to Mike's house at my lunch hour, coming from the marketing job. And I was like, you know what? I could end it all now. Or I could get a gallon of Jamoke Almond Fudge and kill then yourself go to Mike's food. and then just kill myself with this. Well, this one, man, we're coming from uh, the Gator Lady. Yes. Uh, the, and it was a very fun evening. But because uh, Carla, how do I put this delicately, was uh, visited by her monthly friend. Oh, and because Daddy me. had had more than four beers. Mm. Uh, the And because Saturday night is usually the night where we let our hair down. Uh, treat night. A little bit. Treat night. It's absolutely <laughs> incredible. I... Carla was stopping to get her go-to, mm -hmm. which we found out when she was pregnant, was uh, generic salt and vinegar potato chips. Ooh. That's her go-to. That's what she loves. Uh, me, when it's really cheat time, I go for sugar. And I said to her, uh, I want an ice cream product. It's not Haagen-Dazs. It's not Breyers. It's not Ben & Jerry's. There is a product. I wrote it down. It is called Talenti. Uh, C A L E N T I Talenti Gelato. It comes. Uh, here's what's cool about it. It's not a regular pint of ice cream. It comes in a plastic container, a clear plastic round mm. container mm. with a screw top. Are you familiar with the product, Mac? I know you like your junk food. Uh, I've not. I think I've seen this in the store, but I've never had it. It's all over the oh, store. Oh, I've seen these. They but they look local they look so fancy. I'm there like, oh, is. that may not there be it is. what I and want. And I am telling you, I am telling you, Ugh. if you get one cheat a week and you like ice cream, that product right there, not the specific, because I'll give you the flavor that she got from me, and she brought it out to me, and I believe it was a five minute drive from the grocery store to our home, and I finished it in the driveway. Mm. That's how much I love this. And it was called Talenti Southern Butter Pecan. As my friend Joe Chris at Marist College in Poughkeepsie, New York, said about fries with gravy, Mike, it's sex. That's the greatest description of any great food. Do this you do is you, the bomb. Could you have two or do you just have one? I now with the drugs. I, they look know, unsatisfying I mean, and unrewarding with the little, they, the little glass. Was, Phenomenal! It's, it's like big. A little... That's a that's like that's like a Ben and Jerry's pint right there. They make pints. I that. just see the little guys in the stores. No, this is the the regular full size. They do things like uh, they layer it too, where you've oh, got the uh, see, the crunchy see, layers see in between different it. Different sizes here. So good. Mini. So they very, also have mini good. gelato bars. They do that. Look, the, like any company, the you know this it is... kicks in. Stick with what you know, like the gelato that we have there. But ice cream was uh, good, and then. Uh, religious yesterday mm. all day long and ended up uh, down for the weekend, which I was very proud of. So you can cheat occasionally and you can bounce back and you can come well, back and have your little moment. you've got performance enhancing drugs. Let's just tell the world that. Don't, I don't do. sound like a hero. Well, I know. I mean, we're not By the going way, did you see, did we just, are not going down did that just road again. Did you see that this, these drugs are affecting uh, Walmart and all, all these other junk food stores stock? Good. Good. It's about time Not we break the hold of, of big fat and big sugar that they have. And here I am being a hypocrite because I was just talking about big sugar and how that Talenti is yeah, so but, good, but, but you, it was good. In a, in a past life, as and they it, call, and I saw this morning on CNBC, the share of stomach. In a past life, the share of stomach for junk food to healthy food for you would have been most of your stomach or all of them. Well, ours. and also the uh, shortages of these products, these drugs that they're using. Are they still short? I, I don't even know. There is still, still a shortage sh still a short of mine, of mine, Manjaro, which gotcha. is the one that I'm taking. World and, beater. Uh, there is a, uh, a shortage of it, and they're charging people way too much. Mm. And it, I don't know. I, I think it's a giant conspiracy. Better than working out. fast and loose with the truth. Um, I mean, so they say. Well, yeah. But it, but for I, me, Oscar, for as long as I've been trying to lose weight, it's, it's you've never always you've never been, had these results. You, it's literally obesity is a disease, and I and I I, but I it's joke because I care. But it's always been what I put into my body as opposed to what I do in the gym. Always, my always mom, who's on, has been on Zemp, Ozempic forever. She just upped her hi, dose hi, to seven point five. Mm -hmm. She she bought a treadmill, and I what she doesn't realize until this past week is I put up a little line uh, in, in uh, 
in permanent marker and the date right on the treadmill. It's like an old treadmill, so I don't mind writing on it. And I see if the line moves from week to week when I go there. And then when, when she lied to me this past week and said that she had done a mile a day and I went over. Hold on. The, yeah. You take a, you take a Sharpie. Yeah. You take a marker. I take a Sharpie. Put it, a, a real, a, like a fine tip Sharpie. We have it in the kitchen, right? The is it right where there. the seam is on the uh, yes. treadmill? And I put And the, you literally mark I, it to I see mark if it's moved? and the date. Did you spring it on her yet? Yeah. Did I said, know? mom, first- I have your Apple Watch data, and you've been laying on this couch for three weeks. Second, I didn't want to tell you, but I'm going to right. tell you now that you can't, no me, no me mientes, don't lie to me, mm -hmm. because I, ha I have this little line that I know you can't see without your glasses with the date. Come on over here to the treadmill. And she said, what is that? I thought that was like something that was part of the, the treadmill. I said, look closely. She goes, es la fecha, and it's a date. And I said, see, she goes, how did the date get on there? I said, I wrote it on there because the last time you told me you worked out, I didn't think you did. And then you lied to me again. Why is this treadmill in the living room? It's doing nothing. And did she get upset? She got upset, yelled at me <laughs> that I should leave Yo, her alone. Leave, leave your mother alone. Let, her, ran, let she, her enjoy she herself. She ran upstairs yelling at me up the, up the stairs, even in her bedroom, <laughs> she's yelling at me. <laughs> she's trying to motivate her. Listen, I know, I, look, I've done everything. I've done everything. The fact is that the, there the there's the line of demarcation between being at your weight, yeah, and wanting to tone yourself and look like uh, F boy island. You look great, by the way. Do you feel no, no, great? But but I I look great, but I don't look, uh, you know, like the guys that would look great in a suit or anything like that. Once I get, and I'm not looking forward to this. Once I get to the goal weight, and by the way, I don't say if anymore. I say when when, when I get to when, the goal weight. Yes which I am 25 to 30 pounds away from. When you when used get, to be like 120 away from. I was. Yeah. And I say once I get to that weight, um, that's when the only option is to maintain what you have, which is going to be easier than losing food-wise, mm -hmm. but the only other option you have to uh, change the look is to uh, hit Work the out. weights. Gotcha. Absolutely. Gotcha. I believe it. 1,000%. And that's why I recommend... Talenti Southern Butter Pecan <laughs> Gelato. That's what we have. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, we will wrap this thing up uh, right here on the Mike O'Meara Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying yourself. We'll be right back, everybody. We are sponsored by Groove Life. Yes. Level up your style game with Groove Life belts. I have, count them, five. I counted them five. all. Five. I got a gray one. I have two black ones. I have a brown one, and, oh, I have four. four. I don't have five. Four. I have four. four. I have four of them. I want another one. Uh, I've made the switch. I don't wear any other belts. I don't. I literally don't wear any other belts. They're my constant companions. The Groove Belt boasts unique webbing for perfect stretch and a revolutionary buckle with powerful neodymium magnets. This belt, for my favorite sport, the game of golf, is so incredible. Mm. No hassle. Just snap it on effortlessly. Say farewell to bother some belt flaps. With the ingenious Stiff Tech Buckle. Trust me, your waist will thank you. They feel good. They feel good with whatever size you are. Plus, Groove Life backs it all with a whopping 94-year warranty. And uh, that's the same thing they do with their, uh, their wallets as well. The 94-year warranties, because these things are made so beautifully. They are the ultimate belt investment. But hold on, there's more. We have exceptional wallets as well. So much more. Elevate your essentials today with Groove Life. It's time to bring your belt into the 21st century. Head to GrooveLife.com slash TMOS for 20% off all Groove Life products. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use our link. GrooveLife.com slash TMOS for 20% off your order. One last time, that's GrooveLife.com slash TMOS for 20% off your order. Just click the button on our website. Mm. Well, uh, tomorrow the gang will be back together, everybody, and uh, hope you enjoyed the show today. The last thing I wanted to leave you with was uh, sometimes when I'm preparing myself for the week, I will look over at my bride, the uh, lovely, happy woman who was just in here with the dog and my son, and then argued with my son out the door. I said to her, uh, is there anything you want to put on the show? She said, you wouldn't like it. Oh, I love Carla. Uh, and by what the way, is this it? is right after I do a clothing commercial, which 
Groove Life belts, basically, essentially is that when you're talking about belts. Uh, this is the comment she made. And you make of it what you want. I know you're going to... She sa- I'm just going to tell you what she just said. Said, Here's her quote. I wrote it down. Uh, she says, I don't think you dress to your potential. Yeah, you're a sloppy dresser. You are. You, you, when you dress like you dressed in New Orleans, like Char. Who is this fucking lunk anyway? He looks like a ball sack in a toupee. Put together, um, like good shoes, like, you know. All right. Let me tell you. And then when I see you come on right before wherever you're going to do, or like if you're just lounging in your performance athletic material, like you're just wicking material, like you're going to sweat all the time when you barely sweat or work out. But you have to. Are you saying, are you saying you, you're such an a hole? Are you saying that I could uh, sartorially make an adjustment for when I'm taping these shows? Yeah. Like, uh, well, who's I, the most successful guy right now that's in our business? It's that guy you are. with the, the the black no, the guy with the black tank top that I'm obsessed with. That guy, what's his name? McAfee. He wears a black tank top every day. He's wildly successful. Do you I, have muscles? No. Did you play well, in the NFL? No. Okay. Well, then. No. Yeah, like, that's pretty good. Let's be. Let's a be. Word se- trip. Let's be. Se- I mean, that was pretty good. But let's that be self aware. Hey, look. Look, yeah, you've got uh, a muscle. Right? Barely. Huh? God okay. bless. That's not barely. That's not barely. Barely. But I mean, what I, would be the look? What would be the look, right? Don't I mean, dress like an old man. This is this is an old man right here. Stand up. I don't want to stand up. Let's see this. He's standing up. Yeah, look at you. Like I, the belt's great, but you look like you're a gym teacher. You're the you're the you're the you're the you're the athletic department. Like you look like you're an authority figure, but you also could have fallen out of the back of, you know, a marshals. I don't know. You don't look sharp. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's wonderful. Thanks so much for sharing that. Real pleasure doing the show with you alone today. It really was. I'm just so thrilled. Here, here. Have an Arctic mouth. <laughs> Uh, we'll be back with your a brand clothes. New episode. Looks like you purchased them on a conveyor belt. Thank you, thank you. All right, I tell you something. No, I won't change tomorrow. Sometime this week, sometime this week, I'm going to roll in, and I'm going to look better. I welcome. And I'm going to and I'm going to get Mrs. O'Meara to help me out with it. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. All right. F you and your families too. Uh, we got to get out of here. We'll be back with a brand new episode for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. Our man Mike McIntosh. Way to get that snake video up there, Mike. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, We'll be back tomorrow for uh, all of us. So long, everybody. (laughs) Ciao, ciao. (laughs) Sometimes it is a big competition. Just swallow it whole. It shouldn't be a problem for you.